Good morning, uh, Langford Lutheran Parish. Uh, glad you're here with me. Oh, that doesn't really help either. As you can see, I am uh, in my little hideaway in my house uh, because the boys are up and they are here. And actually, we need to be thankful that they are up because I'm coming to you this morning live in my natural wake up glory. I actually turned off my alarm at some point. Uh, I don't remember doing it, and thankfully the boys woke up about 10 minutes ago and got me moving. So uh, here we are on this snowy Wednesday morning. Let us start with a moment of prayer. Father, the day holds so many unknowns for us yet today. We don't know what the weather will bring. We don't know what kind of news is going to hit our television screens or our online feeds but we do know Lord that when asked and when allowed and when needed your presence is in everything that we do and everything that we see and everything that we experience be with us now as we gather together on the start of this Ash Wednesday at the beginning of our Lent season. Help us to open our minds and our ears and our hearts to you. In your name we pray. Amen. My devotion for this morning, uh, I'm going to start my Lent series tonight. I'm going to kick that off with our uh, Ash Wednesday online meditation. And so I'm reading again from my devotion book. And the one for today, for this morning, is called Choosing Life. And the verse comes from Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19. And it says, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. And the devotion reads, look today, Lord, today I choose life. I choose to live in you. Instead of looking at all that I don't have, I look at all that you have blessed me with. Lord, the list is endless. Thank you so much for being my life today and every day. I cling to you each and every moment. Live through me. I love that that is uh, part of our kickoff to Lent um, and to our time of reflection and our time of preparation um, for Jesus' death on the cross and his ultimate resurrection and victory over death. Because it sets forth the duality of our Lent season. We, of course, walk each day with the reminder of the sacrifice that Jesus made for us, that God uh, had him come to do. The, the torment and the uh, humiliation, the physical agonies that Jesus endured to take on our sins and to carry our burdens to the cross. That is our focus of death. But he overcame. As he the prophets foretold as he directed his disciples on the third day he was risen he ascended into heaven and he is seated at the right hand of the father he and we are life and that is i think the maybe the mist tone of this verse from Deuteronomy uh it's very you know it's Old Testament so it's it's not even uh it, Jesus has not arrived to the world they're not aware of course he, you know it's at the very beginning where people are uh 
becoming frustrated with God. They don't see his purpose. They are unable to see his plan and they are starting to idolize uh, or earthly things. They are starting to pray to other gods. And that is the context upon which the Lord says, I've set before you life and death, choose life. You know, because in him is where we have eternal life. And when we place our sights on others, we will have an ultimate death. Uh, but there is an underlying prophecy again of the Lord telling us about Jesus, what he will need to do in the future and that he will place the dichotomy of life and death in front of us. We can focus on the death of Jesus. We can focus on the horrors of Holy Week and of the crucifixion. But when we truly set our sights on the resurrection, we are every day choosing life. As we continue on our 40 days of Lent, each and every day, let us choose to focus on life. Let us pray. We are faced with so many choices, Lord, each day, and many of them seem gray in their colors we like to think that they're solid black and white, right and wrong, good and bad, but that's not the way it is. However, when we look to you, there is no area of gray. When we choose to live in you and we choose to absorb your words and we choose to take your spirit out into the world with us, we are choosing life minute by minute, hour by hour, and day by day. Lord, many of us today are at home. We are safe and we are secure from the weather around us, but there are those who are not so fortunate. Be with them today, protect them, shelter them, not only in the storms of winter, but in the storms of life. Lord, we come together now to focus on you, to join our voices as one, and to pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So as you may or may not have seen or heard, our in-person Ash Wednesday services for tonight are going to be postponed in part. Uh, so we, I am going to be doing an online meditation tonight, just a very short and abbreviated service uh, starting at seven o'clock. It will basically, from what I am planning, there's some things I need to work out yet today, um, there will be a uh, just a, some short prayer, uh, a meditation, uh, a couple of, you know, just a, a, our gospel scripture. And then uh, I want to introduce you. This is the part I need to work on. We have a Lenten uh, theme song this year, and I want to be able to introduce you to that tonight as well. So that is my plan for seven o'clock, our initial thoughts on the imposition of ashes is that we will uh, do that next Wednesday on March 1st. 
uh, and that we'll have kind of a combined service uh, between Ash Wednesday and our first full uh, service in our theme, The Splendor of Lent. So that is our plan when it comes to the Ash Wednesday service. Uh, otherwise, the only other events on the calendar for this week are from our uh, Sunday services, which would, will be 9.30 at Fullness and 11 o'clock at Evangelical. Uh, other than that, I believe that we have a birthday today for Leroy Nelson. Uh, if I hope that you have a wonderful and blessed, splendid day, even though it is uh, very much a wintry, blustery day. I hope that your day is blessed and you're surrounded by those who love and appreciate all that you bring to this world. So I will be back with you tonight at 7. I will not be doing the 8.30 meditation because I will be on at 7. So if you want to spread that word that we will be on tonight at 7 rather than 8.30 uh, for our, our Ash Wednesday meditation. Until then, please stay safe, stay warm, do whatever you need to do. If you do not have to travel, please stay hunkered down at home uh, because there are so many who love and care for you. We don't want to lose anyone in this weather. Until tonight, have a wonderful blessed day and I will see you at 7 o'clock. Until then, God bless.